we're just going to do a uh, quick little tutorial on how to start up the cooter. Um, first things first is uh, turn the radio on. And you do that by the middle button. So you just hold the middle button until all these lights, this is a battery indicator. Yep, so if the, if the battery indicator you always want at least two bars, yep. uh, and otherwise recharge it. And that just recharges in the back here. Um, I've got a cable hooked up to the USB-C via USB-A at the front, and that's just connected this. And then in the app, if you can see that, I've got the maps there of where we are. And then I just hit this little connect down the bottom, and this connects to the radio. So the um, the, so the USB cords for the for the video, yep. for the camera, for the camera, which is just in here. And the app is actually um, connected by the Bluetooth. But it's not on at the moment, obviously, because the drone's off. So I'll do all that, and then I'll plug in the little quick switch into the back. Of so the you drone. always turn the remote control on first in the yep. drone, and then you'll start to see the orange light, and it's actually connected in the app. You just need to leave your drone until you get uh, GPS lock, code later. You need to leave it uh, stationary. GPS 3D lock. So orange light at the moment. I've got 3D satellites. I've got nine satellites connected at the moment. And it's just going to find more. Lock. And you can tell that up in here. And then you just wait until that flash is green. It'll flash a slow green, which just means uh, 3D um, lock on the satellites. And then a really fast green means uh, 3D and DGPS. Which gives you the higher uh, satellite count and yep. better flight. So it's just gone green there. And that's 15 satellites. So I'll just wait for that to flash. How many satellites have you had on this? Um... 24 is the max that I've had so far. And, and Jamie actually got 23 in his house. Yeah, in the house. Which is pretty amazing. Do you have a satellite in your roof? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got 16 at the moment. And I'm just waiting for that to do the um, 3D and DGPS, and that'll flash. I mean, fast. you can fly. You can fly the, the drone now. Yep. Um, but uh, the the fast flashes will give you much better uh, GPS coverage. I have flown it like this, and then halfway through the flight, it's found the other satellites, and it's just locked on automatically and not. Um, had any problems with the drone it's just continued doing what it was doing awesome and it talks to you pretty regularly as well yep. gives you so updates I've, I've set it for 15 seconds for voltage voltage just so i can uh, constantly hear how the voltage is when i'm flying out yep and obviously um once i land the voltage will go up because it's not under load but it, the most important is when i'm actually flying out to hear that voltage um and as soon as it gets down to i think 21.5 is the return to home function so it'll automatically drop the bait and fly back and land Perfect, mate. And um, you can set uh, user adjustable to set the height. Yep. Uh, you can set magnetic interference. It'll, yep. it'll automatically tell you that anyway, yep. um, regardless. So there's quite a few different functions there. So, so at the moment, I've got um, it's in loiter mode, which is the GPS mode. And to arm it, all I do is I hit this little button. If you can see this, there's a little arm button down the corner. Arm. So I'll hit that and slide across. Slide across. Waypoints received. Battery and off it goes. And now it's telling me how much voltage I've got in there. Yep. And, um, and you can actually uh, automatically uh, uh, take it off. Well, so the other one is there's a little um, disarm, take off, and auto. Yep. So I haven't set any waypoints, so auto won't work, but I'll just tell it to take off. Okay, so this is on auto take off. I'll slide it. Takes off by itself. That's all automatic. I'm not touching that. So that's just doing it all by itself. So that's going to go up to about 30 meters. Yep. Still reading voltage for me. Return to launch. It's in return to home, so it's actually returning home, but I'll just change that to uh, loiter. Battery 22.9 volts. This is in loiter mode. It's extremely stable, this drone. I mean, the wind isn't terribly huge today, but you know, we're on the top of dunes and we do, you do get down, down currents. It's handling it beautifully. So, um, so I'm just turning it there and it's just hovering. Yep, just loves it. And then I'll just fly around a bit. Yep. Battery 22.7 volts. So the other good thing about this uh, drone is you can actually set return to you rather than return to home. It's called return to me? Return to me, yeah. So if you look on here, you've got the little orange uh, icon. That's actually home. Battery and if I walk off down here, I'll just walk off to where the, the rod is, 
So maybe we'll start at home. So if you've, you've had it landing at home before, you're now going to change it to return to me or boat landing mode. Um, yeah, so I'll just leave it here. Yep. Hover it. Yep. So there's there's the drone over here. This is the icon showing the direction of the uh, drone, like like way it's facing. Yep. The home location, and the blue dot is me, the radio. Yep. So I'm just going to go up here and hit the home. Home. Yep. And I'm going to hit return to me. Yep. And then down here it says return to me is started. Yep. There you go. It just swapped. So it's the blue, the little blue icon has said that it's return to me is all fine and good, yep. and it's set the new home. Beautiful. And if I hit the A button. A button. The drone will return right here to where I am. And the original home location was just down in, next to the car. Yep, perfect. I'll just step backwards. So I won't land it. I'll just leave it. And then what I'll do is I'll, uh, yep, on the screen, hit there. I want to go home again. I'll just hit return to launch. And it's restored the original location. I'll hit return home and the drone will just fly straight back to where it was before. Wow, pretty cool. And it just flies backwards, sideways, whatever way it's facing just to conserve battery and, and get back. That's awesome, mate. And there she goes, she's starting to land. Awesome.